please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell so you stay informed with the latest and greatest videos from this channel i'm also live every day on twitch.tv slash hasanabi after 11 a.m pacific i thought the ghost of key was bull from the start, but it's getting more and more believable by the day from the Ukrainian government official. Ukrainian hero pilot goes of Kiev returned to the base after he was shot down. He's got a new plan and continues sending enemy airplanes to the hell. He has shot down at least 21 Russian jets already. Bro, okay, let's do this. Here's one thing you can always do. Okay, are you ready? You go to Google reverse image search. Okay, um, wait, how the fuck do I do it on the desktop? Upload a picture. Go to Google images, search by image. Okay, dropping the image in here. Okay, visually similar images three days ago, five days ago, four days ago. One of them leads to a fact check. Social media is celebrating Ukrainian fighter pilot shooting. Um, this is a sequence from the video game Digital Combat Simulator World. <laughs> this footage is from DCS, but nevertheless made out of respect for Ghost of Kiev, the person who uploaded the video writes. The photo was posted almost three years ago by the Defense Ministry. The pilot in the picture is doing a test flight with a new helmet. So even if that is in fact a mysterious pilot, the photo is an old one. Of course the image is old. He's busy shooting down Russians. <laughs> no, that's a Russian website? DW? Deutsche Welle? Is Russian propaganda? What do you think the D stands for, dude? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the math doesn't even make sense that the Ghost of Kiev would even have enough weapons to shoot down all the supposed Russian aircraft. Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know. I don't know enough about the intricacies of, of aerial combat. But having said that, no, I don't believe that. Uh, I don't believe, <laughs> uh, I don't believe that that's the real regardless. It's just good propaganda. It helps uh, Ukrainians. Sure, yeah. Why is Russia so bad at Infowar? Seriously, I support Ukraine, but I have seen so many fake news and I just stopped reading the news lol. Dude, I've talked about this before so many fucking times. The issue is... Russia does not have the fucking global network that the United States has or the West has in dishing out fucking uh, propaganda at the same clip. You can't do that, okay? But what you can do is fucking dono to help Ukrainians while I get fucking owned on the field of Dark Souls. Other places around the world, they just fold the minute there's any type of adversity. I mean, can you imagine if he went into France, would they do anything to put up a fight? Probably not. Um, and so those folks, um, you know, are stepping up, but it's a, there's a lot of problems, I think. Uh, oh my God. Oh shit, dude. Bro, <laughs> homie said France would have rolled. France. <laughs> Yo. Between now and then, and I think, unfortunately, it's going to end up very, very ugly um, over the next uh, weeks and months. Uh, a lot of... I mean, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, I mean, we make, like, fr uh, France, uh, France would have caved uh, jokes all the time, but, like, also, you know, there, there was a gigantic French resistance, you know what I mean? What ought to be focused on is energy and the military. Those are the two things that would matter the most, and we ought to be providing the munitions that are needed, the javelins, the stinger missiles that would be most effective against this Russian army. Now, as of this morning, this 40-mile convoy of, of Russian troops and, and Russian tanks and munitions and fuel, uh, they're only 18 miles outside of Kiev. And let me tell you, when I look at that, I'm thinking, uh-oh, this is about to become is about to go to the next level and i pray to god almighty i'm wrong and the next level would be a massacre and the next level would be the toppling of the government of kiev the next level will mean thousands upon thousands and likely tens of thousands of people dead and that might be on the low side that's what i fear the most now now you would think that maybe these European countries would get together and they'd be arming the Ukrainians that show that they're willing to fight. But they are already. What the fuck's he talking about? If his argument is like, why don't they just bomb this convoy? Uh, I'm pretty sure they would if they had like the fucking strike capabilities and they have. If your argument is, why don't the European countries give weapons to uh, these these Ukrainians, then that's also false because he is. I mean, we are. You know, if we can see on satellite imagery where the convoy is, I don't know, maybe some smart country, maybe NATO might take some of their fighter jets 
Uh, or maybe they can use... Some- oh, never mind. Oh, he's a fucking idiot. Dude, so many... Dude, what the fuck? Like, arguments like this make me realize that, like, um, a lot of people are, are way dumber than I fucking thought they were uh, with respect to, the like, how any of this shit works. You know what I mean? Like, they, it's just so many people have been, like, cheerleading this thing on as though it's, like, uh, as though it wouldn't be uh, an immediate, like an immediate act of like full-blown fucking war like what i i keep asking i'm like listen you know the american government is bloodthirsty why the fuck do you think joe biden hasn't gone in like why why hasn't why haven't the nato nations gone in yet you think it's because they're pussies like like do people not understand you think nato shouldn't give fighter jets i think nato was going to give fighter jets to ukraine of course fighter jets are uh not all built equally for the record and uh, obviously Ukraine wouldn't know what the fuck to do with like a different, you know, like with F-16s or whatever, if they're not trained on F-16s. So what are you going to do with that? But there are fighter jets that they were, uh, that, that Ukrainian pilots are trained on that they were going to send in. And I guess they, they didn't do that in the end because the, uh, I think they saw that that would be seen as an act of violence, an act of esco. Sorry, an act of escalation because yeah, Poland was going to give the the MiG 29s and and uh you know the same exact fighter jets that they have the same exact fighter jets that Ukraine is used to that Ukrainian pilots have been trained on, um but they en- didn't end up doing it. So I don't know some drone strikes and take out the whole damn convoy and then nobody takes credit for it. So then Putin won't know who to hit. <laughs> what the fuck? That's awesome. That's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. What do you mean? The the fucking brilliant mind. The brilliant mind of of Sean Hannity. Yeah, just fucking, you know, do it secretly, dude. Come on. Just get in there and fucking nuke it, dude. Brilliant. Get in there and blow that shit up, brother. No one will know any better. Russia does not have the tools to recognize who's doing the, the act. They'll never be able to figure it out. Back. Well, he's threatening nuclear weapons. Hannity, you're talking about nuclear war. I'm not talking about nuclear war, nor would I support one American boot on the ground here. But at what point is this going to end? Because nobody did anything after Georgia was taken in 08. Nobody cared about Crimea being annexed in 2014. It's interesting how Donald Trump, Putin did nothing during those years. And I would argue it's because he feared Trump and he believed Trump would do whatever was necessary. <laughs> What does that mean? What would Trump have done that's different? The argument about Trump, uh, like Putin and Trump's relationship being like a a positive one is one that leftists actually would make normally, but right-wingers make it too sometimes, and liberals who want to own right-wingers make it, which is that like Trump just would have uh, conceded. Trump would have done what's necessary. Like what? Drop nukes?